Now let's go to the study proper. The Bible says, and Jesus said, I say unto you that he that entered by the door into the sheepfold, he that entered not by the door to the sheepfold, but climb up some other way. The same is a thief and a robber. But he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hears his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and lead them out. Hallelujah. He calls them and he leads them out. The first point here is that Jesus said he is a good shepherd. He did not talk about just being a shepherd. Jesus talked about him being a good shepherd. Not just being a good shepherd, also, he talked about himself being the, sh the door. The door. What strikes me first of all here is that he did not talk about him being a shepherd. He being him being a door. All through the study of the Bible, we'll be noticing one fact: Jesus always addressed himself as the door, which means there are many other doors out there. There are many shepherds out there. There are many shepherds out there, but he is the door. He is the shepherd. Above all, he said something that is crucial as a shepherd. He said that anyone who enters through him is the right person. He said, but he who enters through another means, maybe jump the fence to come in. Is a thief, which means there is only one way to enter in into the sheepfold through Jesus. Is there any other person who entered through other means? Is a thief. Hmm. Remember, this is Bible study, stroke prayer session. The question that comes to the heart is, everyone who become born again must have entered through the sheepfold. Everyone who become born again must have entered through the sheepfold. So which means to enter into the sheepfold, you must know Jesus as Lord and your Savior. So if you do not enter through the sheepfold, it simply means not knowing Jesus as your Lord and Savior. Finally, Are you they you? accused him. The Pharisees said everything they want to say. The other verses talked about Jesus, making them understand it clearly that he has the power, the right to give power to his children to trap upon snake and scorpion and nothing shall by any means hurt them. He said that you are God's to whom the scripture has come to. Listen to me as we pray this morning. Jesus said, if he called them God's unto whom the word of God came, the scripture cannot be broken. You are not an ordinary person. You have the scriptures inside of you. You have the power of God inside of you. You have the strength of God inside of you. You are a God to that situation. You are a God to that trouble. Verse 37 saying, if I do not the works of my father, believe me not. But if I do, you believe me not. Believe the works that I do. 
because it's my Father that walked through me. Beloved, Jesus said, even if you don't believe for what I say, Lord, believe me for what I do. From now henceforth, you begin to see God doing in your life. Oh, glory to God. Put your hand upon your chest and let's pray. Let's close it today because of our time. Put your hand there and pray. Pray to God Almighty. Pray to God Almighty now. Pray to God Almighty. Tell him, Lord, I invite you. I invite you from now to be my true shepherd. I invite you to lead me from now, I wake up every morning. I must talk to you before I talk to any living soul. Make it a duty that God is the first person you spoke to. You will talk to every morning. That God will be the last person you talk to every night. Tell him, Lord, I invite you to take your full place in my life. I invite you for your divine direction, divine guidance. I look forward to see you directing me through the word of God, through spoken word, through, through dreams, through enemies you want. My life is free now, Lord. Direct me. I know I can hear you for myself. I know you can direct your daughter. Pray now. John chapter 10 is a story of about uh, 42 pages of the Bible. Sincerely, it talks so much about uh, Jesus being our good shepherd. It talks about Jesus being our good shepherd. And uh, it talks about uh, the Pharisee accusing him of having the devil inside him, that Jesus had a demon inside him. That is why he was able to do many of the things he was doing but the bible also talked about the people who who were listening to him who were able to say to the pharisee that no one can do these things that he does except the father is with him except the father is with him so jesus took his time from verse 26 downward to explain to them on some of these key important things, Jesus took his time to explain to them that he is in the Father and the Father is in him. And uh, that they couldn't believe him because uh, they, they are not his own sheep. That if they are his own sheep, they will definitely have believed in him. So that the reason why they didn't believe him is because they did not believe in the father either and they did not believe in what he does so and because they feel like they know him so that's why they blaspheme against him but he took his time to tell them that even if they don't believe him they should believe him because of the work that he does so those are the things we are going to be looking at closely today as we study john chapter 